Welcome once again to our continuing YouTube video series on business law and unanimous shareholders agreements. My name is Christopher Neufeld of Neufeld Legal. And in this particular video, we'll be discussing another aspect as answering why do you need a unanimous shareholders agreement? And one of the key reasons is that the law and the courts and legislation is not an area that is sufficiently created to protect your interests in a corporation. As a shareholder in a corporation, you are considered to be a sophisticated business person. And as such, when legislation was drafted, you were treated and you were considered as a sophisticated business person as opposed to just a regular consumer. And hence, the concept was that individuals who are more sophisticated and are undertaking business have a freedom to contract. And as such, we will not set down generalistic, overly specific terminology that will constrain business and to impose those requirements that are found in a shareholders agreement and go beyond even the most standard shareholders agreements is something that the courts and the legislatures and the laws are not interested in doing and it is reflected in the statutes and the regulations and the rulings of the court that it is not their place beyond the most basic core principles of protecting minority shareholders from oppression that they put themselves in a position to create what is found in a unanimous shareholders agreement. In fact, in much of the legislation, they make reference to a unanimous shareholders agreement that they expect and they anticipate sophisticated people like yourself who are business owners to enter into. They make reference to that because they expect you to contract and they allow you to contract. So if their expectation is that you're going to contract and the smart thing to do is to contract, well then you should seriously contemplate and in our opinion do proceed to contract to create a unanimous shareholders agreement. And make it one that is specific to your business, your business needs, and the individuals who are engaged in that business. There are many things we can talk about. But once again, it's specificity. And the legislatures, the governments, the courts have made it clear that it is up to the business owners, hence the shareholders, to determine what the scope of their rights and responsibilities are, what the decision-making arrangement is to be, what the exit strategies are to be, what are the financing arrangements to be, how the board of directors is to be created. That is on the shareholders. It is not on the government. It is not on the courts to make those determinations. And hence, it is up to yourselves as shareholders in your corporation to undertake to make a unanimous shareholders agreement and put it in place and make it work for you. You have that opportunity. Take advantage of that opportunity because you can't rely on anyone else. You have to assume responsibility. Work with knowledgeable legal counsel that can assist you. Yes. You can't look to after the fact the courts, the government, or some other arrangement. You need to take it upon yourself and you need to put it together. And that is but one of the reasons why you should be having a unanimous shareholders agreement. We hope you found the this video informative and look forward to discussing more about aspects of unanimous shareholders agreements. Thank you.